even though every Premiere Pro editor spends all of their time in the timeline panel, not many uses these three buttons that control the way it actually works. So if you are, congrats. If you're not, watch till the very end. Hey, my name is Piotr Stuszyński. You can call me Peter. This channel is all about mastering film editing, so you can craft videos, craft stories that resonate with your audience. Stories that can eventually make a difference in their lives. Do you know that feeling when you're passing by something every day to finally discover that you've never actually noticed it before? That's what happened to me with this first button. I'm a self-learner, I've never been to film school. Actually, my background is civil engineering. So when a few years ago I dedicated myself, dedicated my life to filmmaking, I was learning Premiere Pro by doing all sorts of projects. But this button, I've just never used it. So the intro you've just seen a moment ago is a nested sequence that I reuse in almost all of my videos. And I drag and drop it to the timeline every time. But this first button, which is called insert or override sequences as nests or individual clips, controls the results of this drag and drop operation. When you drag and drop any sequence into another sequence, the result with this button active will be individual nested clip. But if you deactivate this button, this will result in all the building blocks for this sequence. By the way, by default, if you drag and drop, you do an override operation. If you want to do insert operation, you need to press Ctrl or Command on your keyboard. The other way is using command period shortcuts directly in project panel. So if I press comma on the keyboard, there is an insert operation and by pressing period, there is an override operation. Okay, it's time for the second button. You probably know the snap button because it's effect and the way you can use it is pretty obvious. Most of the time you will want to have it active since it snaps to the end of the clip, to the beginning of the clip and to the sequence and clip markers as well. But for the complex timeline it actually can be pain in the ass when it snaps to everything. So that's when you'll want to disable it. Remember that there is the shortcut for this button which is S on the keyboard and sometimes you will press it unintentionally, so if that's happened to you, if it looks like snap doesn't work anymore, have it in mind. And it's time for the third button, which controls either you select linked clips individually or not. So if you have a video clip that is linked to an audio clip, which is the case all of the time, with this button active, you will select these clips together. Also, if you're using groups, this will select whole group at once. Basically, you can select a bunch of clips and group them by using Ctrl plus G shortcut. And on Mac, you would use Command plus G. Now, when I press at any clip, the whole group is selected. But sometimes you want to select individual clips. For example, you cannot add Lumetri color effect to the group. Then I will deactivate the third button and now I can select each clip individually. Okay, before we wrap up this video, it's time to mention my 1000 subs giveaway. So just before putting this video together, I've run the software and five winners are selected. I will email you very soon with the prizes, which is Cinematic Last Pack and Fallscore plugin. Congratulations and thanks to all of you who entered the giveaway. If you want to get notified about future giveaways, go to the link in the description and subscribe to get that notification. I hope it was useful to you, if so, leave a like under this video and if that's your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribed. Would you be interested in getting to know how to edit videos for clients from the other side of the world? This way you could work and travel or work for clients that will pay you better than the ones from your neighborhood. I'm thinking about putting together a comprehensive course about it, so let me know what you think. Simple yes or no is enough, but feel free to elaborate if you have anything specific you struggle with when working with your clients. It was Peter, until the next time, shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.